So we just finished up this injector and swinger for Ben Flayhart. They have Kilby Farms. They milk a bunch of cows, also do some food waste. The reason they purchased this injector is so that they can keep it in the ground when they're turning around at the ends. They currently have one of my injectors behind a regular row crop tractor. The problem is to turn around at the ends, you have to lift up, back up, do a three-point turn. The regulators don't like that there's manure on top of the ground when they turn around at the ends. So they need to keep the injector in the ground all the time. So that's why they went with the articulated, have the swinger on the back of the tractor so that they can turn around at the ends without ever stopping and backing up. They can just spin around. The injector, this is the new swivel units. So the, the units will turn, rotate, swivel in the ground as they, they make their turn. That way everything's covered, all the manure's in the ground all the time, so their neighbors don't get all upset that they see manure on top of the ground and therefore it stinks. I am Eric Hoover, the owner of Hoover Ag. We build manure dragline equipment and also manure injection equipment. We also do a custom manure application and we inject around 2,000 acres a year. So this was a tractor they bought specifically for dragline for this injector. They bought it from Hoover's Incorporated, brought it here. We built and installed the swinger, also the injector. This swinger folds up. So it's a hydraulic locking pin, and then you can fold it up. That way, when you're going down the road, you don't have this big tail hanging way out the back. So to get enough of hydraulic functions, this tractor had four hydraulic outlets. However, it did not come with a three-point from factory, so that was added. That used up the one outlet, so we only had three outlets left. So we added a hydraulic manifold into their power beyond and then there's a switch box in the cab that has eight functions they can control the swinger and then also the injector itself all right so here's our control box we got our swinger fold and unfold this is the for the locking pin and we have our main valve open and close we also have the pig dump so this would be out on the end of the swinger when you want to blow your pig through then on the injector, we have our left wing open and close, right wing open and close, the road units up and down, and also the injector the valve on the injector, the distributor dump. You can open and close that as well.